Hello friends, my name is Fanrol and it's been a while since I shared some crafting recipes with you that you could use to generate some extra income. My last videos of this type caused some of the recipes to rise in price quite significantly. So going forward, I'll try to focus on recipes that can be bought from a vendor. Hopefully this mitigates some of the price gouging going on for those who hadn't unlocked the recipes yet. Additionally, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't focus on a main ingredient that could be farmed instead of bought from the trading post. But even if farming is not your thing, not only will you be able to buy most of the ingredients and still profit off of them, the current instant sell price for the crafting output is usually higher than the sum of all the ingredients. That means you can even make gold instant selling for the time being of course. This might change over the course of time, so make sure you always do the maths. If you need help with this, make sure to join my Discord, the link is in the description. And for today's video, you'll need a character with at least 400 cooking. If you don't have one yet, head on over to gw2crafts.net and use one of their leveling guides. They will provide you with either the cheapest or fastest path to 400 cooking. And as a bonus, cooking is actually the cheapest crafting profession you could level to 400. Now let's get to it. The first recipe has been a real good money maker for me and is actually two recipes in one. First we're going to be making flatbread and the great thing about this is that you can buy most of the ingredients from a master chef vendor. The only two items we need to buy or farm are cassava roots and milling stones. Milling stones currently go for around 11 copper on the trading post which is next to nothing even if you were buying them in bulk. The cassava roots are the most expensive ingredient to purchase and you'll actually need 10 of them. All of the ingredients combined will cost you around 13 silver or 15 and a half if you instant bought them. But you can instant sell flatbreads on the trading post for more than 17 silver at this moment or you could list them for 23 silver and 75 copper. Now here's the cool thing. If you like gathering you could actually be swimming in cassava roots. All you need to focus on is on gathering desert vegetables in the path of fire maps or on jungle plants. And jungle plants also have a chance to drop Maguma lilies which sell for more than 75 silver each. My favorite maps to gather these are Draconis Mons, Dragon Stand and Bloodstone Fen. And if you don't have the recipe for flatbread yet, you can either buy this with 175 airship parts and 10 silver from an Itzel Mastery vendor in Heart of Thorns. Or alternatively, you can spend 75 proof of heroics and 14 silver to buy them from a world v world vendor. Now after making the flatbread, you have a choice. You can either sell it for a quick instant profit on the trading post, or you could be using it as an ingredient for yet another recipe. Currently 4 recipes use flatbread as an ingredient. Two are currently crafted at a loss and one can be sold for profit but the instant sell option is a loss. So we're going to be ignoring those but the fourth one however can be sold at a very nice profit as well if you've been doing the achievement to get ascended cooking unlocked and level cooking all the way to 500. The recipe I'm talking about is plates of eggs benedict. These require the flatbread we've already been crafting as well as a jar of hollandaise sauce, pieces of cured meat and of course an egg. The jar of hollandaise sauce's recipe isn't instantly unlocked on a cook but can be discovered by combining an egg, a stick of butter, a lemon and a packet of salt. At the moment you can actually buy the finished product for about the same price on the trading post as the sum of all the ingredients. The pieces of cured meat require cuts of quality red meat, which is a rare drop from enemy wildlife once you start unlocking the achievements for ascended crafting on your way to 500 cooking. You can buy these from the trading post for about 70 copper as well but you will still need to advance sufficiently into the achievement to be able to actually make cured meat. It is in my opinion worth doing this on at least on one of your characters and if you need help with this please do let me know and I'll make a video about ascended cooking. The plates of eggs benedict sell for around 26 silver if you were instant selling them and 32 silver if you were listing them on the trading post. So these could provide an even further boost to your crafting income. And the great thing is that the recipe doesn't even need to be bought, you just have to discover it the first time you're crafting. And finally, I thought about adding a recipe for people who like fishing. 
For our third dish, we'll be focusing on fishy rice bowls. You can buy the recipe for 50 silver from one of the vendors in the Echovald Wilds or Arborstone. And fishy rice bowls currently sell for 8.7 to 10 silver on the trading post, depending on whether you're instant selling or not. They require fantastic fish fillets, rice balls, eggs and bowls of canton vegetable mix. If you like the fishing minigame, you'll probably have more of these fantastic fish fillets than you care for. And if not, you can simply buy them on the trading post for a little over 3 silver. For the rice balls, you actually have two options. A vendor called Jen sells them for 32 copper each in the eastern commons of Divinity Reach. But you can also buy 25 of them for 49 karma in any of the main cities, as well as a few others from Master Chefs. I'll leave a link to the full list in the description of this video. Eggs can be bought off the trading post or if you've been vigorously killing moas or certain reptiles, you might already have quite a few of these. And the bowl of canton vegetable mix requires an onion, a head of cabbage, a zucchini and a mushroom. You will learn this recipe automatically by unlocking the fishy rice bowl recipe. And that's it. So if you like fishing, your crafting cost will range around 4 silver per bowl. Whilst if you instant purchase, your margins will decrease, but the bulls can still be sold for profit on the trading post. And that's also about it for this video. I have tons more recipes that I use personally to make some quick profits every now and then. I'll try to remember to share these every so often to mix up my farming videos. And if you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them down below or join our Discord. If you liked it, please like this video and your subscription would mean the world to me.